Here's an overview of the supplies I'm using in this project. The mason jar sign came from Dollar General. The 10 inch mesh is from Craft Outlet, uh, as well as some of the ribbons uh, from Craft Outlet, as well as Hobby Lobby. Now the um, tinsel red wreath is one of the th ones that I got from Walmart and it's a 20 inch tinsel wreath. Uh, like I said, I picked up at Walmart after Christmas and the sign is so cute. It, it was 350 from uh, Dollar General. This 10 inch mesh uh, is from Craft Outlet. I am just going to cut uh, 12 inch strips and I am going to cut 10 bundles. So 12 red, 12 white. And so then I put them in the ties um, just in a curl kind of, you know, <laughs> just a tube or a curl. Uh, I just kind of crisscross them and then just put them in the uh, tinsel ties. So I put 10 bundles of these red and white and then the white bundles into this wreath. As you can see here, I pulled out a couple of more ribbons that I thought maybe I wanted to use uh, here in my bows. The majority of them came from Craft Outlet or either Hobby Lobby or Walmart. So now what I'm using is I am using an easy bow maker and I got mine from decoexchange.com. Um, Damon is a fantastic uh, wreath maker and he always does fantastic bows and this is the bow maker that he uses and recommends and so um, I'm just trying to uh, you know go through the process I'm really trying to get good at making these bows for the wreaths um, I know I could do it by hand but it's just something about watching uh, Damon do you know bows on this easy bow maker that makes you want to do it too <laughs> and so that's what I'm doing and just by uh, you know changing up the different uh, ribbons and your tails going different ways uh, and the different patterns it just really makes your bow pop and so um, I'll leave an uh, link in the description box if you uh, don't already know, but it is www.decoexchange.com. Once I uh, get my top bows, my loops, I take two uh, pipe cleaners and I tie them together so that they are longer and then I go through the middle and tie them as tight as I can or twist them as tight as I can to make my ribbons pop uh, at the top because that makes the bow look very nice. And then I will make three of these bows you know, using this easy bow maker the same way, using the same ribbons. And then uh, with those Chanel stems, that's what I will tie on to my wreath.
To attach my sign, I'm using pipe cleaners and this sign is a little thicker and I'm also using some pipe cleaners, hot glue, as well as my electric staple gun. So I make sure that my staples are uh, short enough that they will uh, don't go through the front of the sign and so then for my pipe cleaners I just uh, you know staple them on and then I'm going to use some hot glue to you know give them an extra layer of security I kind of twist them uh, give it a twist so that they you know gives it another layer and then that is what I will twist on to my frame I'll attach it exact uh, you know actually to my frame so that this sign doesn't fall off. Then I will uh, put on my three bows and I put my sign on first because that seems to help me uh, with the placement of the bows. Then after I will make sure everything is fluffed out, I will go back with my scissors and I will dovetail all of the ribbons on the ends. I'm just filling in some holes with some of this uh, one and a half inch ribbon and I just you know just kind of where like the little hole may need a little extra I just make a loop with some tails and then I just attach it uh, to the tinsel the tinsel just really is a, a great holder when it comes to this uh, type of wreath that I like to do and uh, yeah then I just dovetail the ends.